Hi everyone. Mama. What's up, Cope? Okay, you can stay in bed. Hi everyone. So my son is in my bed currently reading, you can hear him talking, currently reading a book. And my bedroom is at the front of the house, so it's kind of in sh sh shadow right now. So I am filming, again, in my toddler's bedroom. Um, but this is the place with the best light. So my husband's gone out to get some groceries from, uh, for us. So we are, Colby and I are home, and I thought this would be the perfect time to practice my Easter makeup for the holiday tomorrow. It's Saturday today. And... I'm gonna go ahead and just start. I've already moisturized, so I'm gonna put on my primer, which is this primer here. Oh, I hope it does it. Is it doing it? No. There you go. Uh, Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal. It looks like this, which I don't know if it's supposed to look like. It's kind of old. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and put a bunch of that on. See, I don't know that it should look like this, but whatever. Seems to seems to work. All right, I'll put that down. I've got my wet beauty blender. We're just gonna, oops, leave makeup on my son's floor. Rub it in. See, it rubs in fine. So I don't know. My fruit. my neck rather okay rub it in I'm kind of excited for Easter tomorrow I know that we can't go anywhere or do anything but at the same time it's nice to like have a special day that might be different <laughs> and have something to kind of plan for and to get dressed up even though I need a little bit more and to get dressed up even though we're just going to be at home I've kind of been dressing up the whole time anyway, but it'll be nice to have like an actual a reason. <coughs> and tomorrow is my mum's 57th birthday. Now, obviously, I'm not celebrating with her because she's in England and I cannot get to England right now. Um, but yeah, it's my mum's birthday, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make um, like a nest cake and it's like we make them in England, little cupcakes. You get Rice Krispies or puffed rice cereal and you melt chocolate and you mix it in with the chocolate and you put it in little cupcakes and it dries. Like you let it, you chill it and it dries and it's it's wonderful, wonderful. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not sick, I promise. All right, so that is my primer. So let's move to foundation. So today I thought I would try or retry my so far it's a face of l'oreal my l'oreal true match super blendable makeup i have this in a neutral color which is like n2 okay and we're gonna put that on if there's any in there it's kind of old come on there it is, there is a lot in there. Okay, we're just gonna, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so tomorrow's my mum's birthday, and today my parents are celebrating their 39th wedding anniversary. I can't imagine 13, 39 years of anyone right now. It's a very long time. They got married two years before, two years and about, oh, was it 10 days before I, I was born? So I'm gonna be 37 on April 21st. So not, not long. Let me just, oh my gosh. I think this is horrible foundation. I should have stuck with this Alame stuff, Alame stuff I used last time. Wow, I don't know if you can see, it's like in every, oh, it's horrible. Yucky, yucky, yucky. We'll keep blending and hope that, wow. Well, now I understand the difference between 
decent foundation or it might just be old it might not be L'Oreal's fault and they have a lot of uh, wrinkles now to hide which I used to have also look very pale <laughs> so possibly the wrong colour oh. I'm like getting violent with myself like <laughs> look how pale I am all right well I'm gonna oh, don't rub don't rub it's puff okay definitely not the right makeup I am gonna put that one in the trash so I don't do this again it's just like because it's like I can see it everywhere I don't want to say the product's bad, it, like the design of the product's bad. I want to say that mine's kind of old. And that might be the the real problem. I mean, I don't know if make, does makeup have dates on it? Like Best Buy dates? You know, it really should actually have a Best Buy date on it. No, don't see one. Okay, I feel like all I'm doing is like punching myself in the face. But it is looking better. Honestly, I only just learned how to use these like a year ago and I didn't realize you were supposed to like, like bump it. So I was like rubbing it in and every time I rubbed it in, you could like see every one of my pores, even with primer. It's because I was like rubbing it off. This works much more, much better. All right. I think it does look better though. It does look better. I look very pale, but it does look better. All right, so let's go in for the inner L'Oreal project product, the L'Oreal concealer, and I have this in the color porcelain. I feel like this thing here is that I'm getting them in too light of a color, which is funny because I think I am a very light color. Um, but we'll see. I'll we'll put that under here. Yeah, put it in there. I don't have any bags right now because I'm getting enough sleep, which is amazing. I have um, like a teenage toddler, like Colby will go to sleep probably around like 930 because we're being a bit lenient. But he literally will sleep until um, I think it was 830 this morning. And that's because I woke him up like he he's a sleeper. And he always has been. Like when I brought him home from the hospital, I was the one waking him up in the middle of the night to feed him um, until the doctors told me uh, about a month old that I didn't have to worry because I had such a good weight baby that he was going to be fine if he slept the whole night. And then he's always slept the whole night. We've been extremely lucky. Um, everyone tells me if we haven't had a child, there's no way we can get that lucky again. I don't know. I'm gonna try the, an experiment. When I was pregnant in that first trimester, whenever I was tired, I went to bed. So I would come home from school and take a laptop upstairs, because uh, we do not have a TV in our room, a laptop upstairs, and I would take um, like food upstairs, whatever it was I was gonna eat for dinner, and I would go to bed and just read or watch something on the computer or do a little bit of schoolwork and then I would go to sleep when I was tired. So <laughs> can I do that with a toddler? We'll see, but I'm gonna try that again and maybe, maybe rest him is the secret, I don't know. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just dab a little bit more. I think, I think it's looking better. It definitely looks better than it did when I showed you just now. It's definitely better, okay. You just get the arrows. Uh, I don't like it. Okay. It doesn't help that I don't wear makeup very often, so everything looks different to me. Let's get the different angle. I right, my nose. Maybe that one was just too close for my <laughs> My lips <laughs> look like. I must want to put lipstick on today. My lips not look so. Uh, bad okay obviously i'm obsessing here 
Alright, so we've done, we've done that one. Now let's go into those brows. Again, I'm going to use my Maybelline Brow Tattoo Studio. Um, I never like how this looks when I first put it on, so we'll see if how it looks. I have this in the color um, Blonde. Blonde. And I don't know how this is blonde because this is dark, so to me this is not blonde, but it's the right colour, I think. Alright, so. Colby! I haven't heard my son for a while. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. My son's fine. He's just in bed playing with a big red bus now. Alright, so let's keep going with these eyebrows. Actually, I'm surprised that they don't even pluck him more because I've been like, you know, not doing it because I'm home. All right, make sure you get these the same place. So my parents have been married for 39 years and my husband and I are coming up on 13 years this um, this May. So that'll be another thing that we're celebrating um, by not going anywhere. But this is not a celebration. Um, we got married May 27th in 2007. I had just turned... 24 and we got married on my husband's 25th birthday so he is going to be 38 this year on May 27th and our son was his due date we had like two due dates like the one that we had originally and then the one they changed it to because he was such a big he was measuring so big um the original one was closer the the original de due date for colby was the 26th of may and then they changed it to the 23rd and he was born on the 28th so closer to the original due date they panicked and were like on the 23rd they were like well now we have to book you in for um an inducement because you know blah 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 being late and i was like well i had a due date of the 26th can we not wait till that date no, because of the way he's measuring, and then he came on the 28th, so I was like, you know, he came the day before, they wanted me to book my inducement, like, the next week, Monday to Friday, and I booked it for the last possible day, the Friday, and he came on the Sunday, so, um, it's like, if you gave me that due date originally, why are we, why are we going off the, the new one, anyway, all right. So that's the eyebrows done. They look very dark. I did look at myself in the mirror in the hallway after I checked on my son. And I am very pale. So I picked up my um, bronzing kit, which one of my students gave me. So we're going to um, open this in a little bit and try and rescue this very white face. Which I then went ahead and rubbed on. Like I should not be doing. I am just not an expert pro. Alright, so we've got the eyebrows on. Let's do a little bit of highlight on my eyes. I am using another L'Oreal product. The Lumi. And I'm going to go in with this brush here. And I'm going to use... I don't want to do the light colour. I'm going to use this colour here. This palette is the... Um, the powder blush glow illuminator i don't think it says a color does it oh rose in rose oops where did that come from i don't use that okay so we're gonna just go along the top here i do like that color right along here oh look there's no uh black in my brush last time i did this my brush had clearly been used for something else and it came out like gray i'm gonna go over my whole lid because i love this illuminator so I'm going for um like 
a real makeup look. I know a lot of people when they do get ready with me, you say, do you like this elaborate look? This is gonna be a look I actually will do tomorrow. So it's not gonna be a big old look. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my, whatever this brush is called, it's the bronzing brush. And I'm just gonna, not bronze of it, I'm just gonna sweep some of this up here and just twisting the brush around all the colors and up here and a little bit up here I do hate out the it's in my creases I do not like that I'm not a bit see that's why I find makeup so hard because I'm not very good at good at all right let's put that down I also forgot to put powder on again which you're stuck Colby saying he's stuck all right let's go ahead and put some powder on I'm going to use my Alme. Hopefully this is a bit darker. My Alme and this is in the color Smart Shade. 100 Light. See, I'm going to buy darker ones. I'm going to have to go to the store and buy some darker colors. Because these are all too pale. Alright. Ugh. I do feel like it's making me look older. Anyway, we'll try and rescue it in just a minute. Let's go back to this mirror. Okay, so we're now gonna put the um, shadow on and I'm picking a, I am picking a bold shadow. I'm picking this um, L'Oreal. I should call this a face of L'Oreal with Maybelline eyebrows. Um, L'Oreal and it's the Bright Shadow Duo, and it's in the color Reckless. It's called Reckless. Okay, I'm gonna start with the dark one, the dark purple. I'm gonna go right in the crease. Oh, it's dark. That's okay. <laughs> it's very dark. That's okay. So it's very pigmented for me which is good that's why I like these uh these hits again all my makeup is quite old I know you're supposed to like throw it out after a certain amount of time but I don't wear it enough to to warrant that I don't think I don't know Okay. Oh, just clean my brush off. My I feel like that's okay. Kind of blend it down a little bit. I definitely feel like I got more on one side, so it's trying to equal that out. Although I don't know how I did that. Okay, here we go. All right, we're looking a little freaky right here. And then I'm gonna go in for the second color and put that lower. So I said I was doing a real makeup look. This does not, at the minute this looks a little uh, intense for me. I think what I'm gonna do is do this and then go over it all with um, the highlighter. I see if it lightens it up just a little bit because it's a little intense. Definitely think I've got the darker higher on one side, so let's go. I don't understand. This side will not take the dark. There we go. <laughs> Colby's talking in the other room. Okay, well it's quite intense. 
quite a lot of colour. I never like my makeup without liner, so, uh, eyeliner on, so it's hard for me to, to to tell if I like it or not. Um, like I said, I'm going to go in with the highlighter and just brush gently brush over the top of it. So let me just clean that off. Okay, with this same colour as before. Oh yeah, it's better for me. That's better. That's better for me. That's better. I don't know if you can see the difference between the two. See how much lighter that is? Just a little bit. That's more me. That is more me. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Okay, and now for the liner. And I'm using this Maybelline Master Precise and I'm going to be really quiet while I do this because I have to focus. like painting on my eyes I love I love this brush it really does help <laughs> um. oops she says is rather a lot comes out So I spent my uh, teenage years as a little bit of a golf. So I did a lot of a uh, a lot of line hardware on top and on the bottom, and it was definitely a case of the more the better. And so <laughs> I wore a lot. Um. Definitely not my style now. One eye is always harder than the other. Like that one. Okay, are they equal? I'm not sure I have to move you because the light is so bad. Maybe if I had you over here, I would look a little bit better. Let's try that. Oops. And I feel like you're not straight. Let me straighten you out. Ooh. See, I look better there. I think the light was not helping before. Okay. So now the liner's on. I always feel my eyes just like they look a thousand times better the second you put liner on. I don't know what it is, but they ju it just looks a thousand times better. How'd they get black up there? Okay, so now we're gonna just do some mascara. So we're gonna use this uh, Maybelline Falsies Volume Express mascara, and I've got it in. I think it's dark, dark black. You might be able to read that better than me because I could not read it hardly at all. It's really small. Very black, noir, intense. It's so hard to read it. Why is it so small on the bottom there? I don't know. Stuck. You're stuck, Colby? He's not stuck. Ow. Ow. How are you stuck? He's just in my bed. I don't know how he's stuck. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to go unstick my son who believes he's stuck. I'll be back. I'm not sure what's going on, but his knee is hurting him. So he's on my bed now eating a banana and um, I might have to check on him again in a minute. I'm not sure what he's done. Anyway, I put a little bit of mascara on.
My mum always teases me because when I put makeup on, I go like a fish. Who doesn't do that, right? <laughs> no, I'm consciously trying not to do it. These do make your eyelashes look quite good. Okay, so now I have mascara on. Here you go. See all my wrinkles, my badly applied liner. I'm gonna go and fix that. I didn't notice it was so badly applied. Ah, oh, now I've got makeup on my hands. That's how you get black everywhere, right? Yeah, let's sort that out. Oh. If all else fails, I'll just pretend I was trying to do a golf look to start with, right? And then that will solve that. Okay, so now I've done the eye, eyes, as much as I'm gonna do them. Oh, a bit of black there, let's have a look if I get rid of that in a minute. Bit of the, uh, um, illumina the, the illuminator, whatever it's called, is left. All right, so I have done the eyes, the eyebrows, which are looking a, a thousand times better than they usually do when I do them. I'm gonna try and correct this white face thing so I'm gonna open up my box and it says I have ready shimmer strips eyeliner trio I'm not gonna use those today bronze booster pressed shimmer powder and bronze booster sunstones so we are gonna use the sunstones which like this and these are a medium to dark so, and it, oh, I did it the wrong way. Okay, take all the stuff off. They always come with these like pads, but I mean, I guess you just, right? <laughs> now I've got like dark, oh, it's definitely darkening me. It's definitely what I need to do. <laughs> it doesn't help that I actually am pretty, Hey, I've got these dots on my face now. Look at this. I have those dots on my face. Yeah, this is what I need. Look at that. It's a thousand times better. That's better. I look like a, a human being again. Who's been outside and not stuck in our house all the time. Have a bit of health to her skin that is better why have i never done this before look at that that's a thousand times better oh my goodness me let me move you so you can see ah now i don't look like a ghost wow yes 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 let me just do my my neck what is that yes 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 Goby's <laughs> going no no no. Oh. Oh, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop because I'm so happy with it. Anyway, I'm gonna call that it. Oh good. Alright, can't can't recommend this physician formula bronze booster anymore. What's up, Cole? Alright, since I like that so much. Let me just tidy up a little bit. I'm not, I don't really like it when it's a mess. Um, let's try the bronze 
True Star. And what do they call this? They call this the Bronze Booster Press Shimmer Bronzer. You're stuck again, Colby? All right, let's uh, love the love the pattern. That's cute. All right, oh, I'm loving bronzer. Up. Yeah. My brush is falling apart, but oh yeah. All right, I got to blend in my um. Cheeks a little bit. <laughs> I feel like there's a dark one. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my son. Funny boy. Let's put it into my brown eye down my chin. Oh, so much better. So much happier now I did that. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm not going to put any blush on because I put the bronzer on. I do want to tack on my lips. And I am going to use this old Maybelline lipstick. It looks like this. It has a gem on one side. And this is in the color. Look how small they make it. Like, who, who can read those? Forever in Metallics 10 is pink zinc. And now I put the bronzer on. This might end up being too light. My fault was that my shadows were dark, so my lipstick should be lighter. Okay, so we've done the foundation, we've done the eyeshadow, we've done the bronzer, which was a lifesaver, we've done the lipstick. What else is, oh, I do have something else I was going to add. I brought this. This is another L'Oreal project, product called Voluminous Lash Parade. And this is supposed to be a glittery mascara to add gold flakes. So I'm just going to see if it works. Colby Roo! <laughs> He's not saying anything, he's just making noises. Well, now it's not working. It was working and now it's not. And my nose is going to run. <laughs> All right. It worked really well and then it stopped working. So I don't know what that means. It's also clogging up my mascara, which I don't like. Once I work well. Well, now I have clumpy mascara. I don't know if I can fix it with this. All right, I'm gonna go get my mascara, my um, mascara brush, and I'll be right back. Okay, so when I looked into my son, I just put a darker pink lipstick on. It's just a CoverGirl pink lipstick. Let me see if I can brush these. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um That might be the best I can do, which is not great. There's definitely gold glitter on my uh my eyes. Maybe that is okay. All right, so still don't like this lipstick. I can't 
I can't, um, end up with like 10 layers of lipstick. Okay, that's the close up mirror. So I have done foundation, eyebrows, eyes, bronzer, and this crazy lip color. Which I do not think I like. <laughs> it's almost like purple and too pink. Anyhow, that's it. That's my makeup done. Let me move you and show you. Uh, oh, that light's better. The closer up, there's the eyes, the lips, and that is my face. And it looks a thousand times better in this light than it did from the light I filmed in. So next time, I need to put the camera right here. Anyhow, here is my Easter look for tomorrow. And uh, thank you for joining me on this get ready with me or get ready practice session with me. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in another video. Bye. Oh, P.S. Bronzer saved the day. Always wear bronzer. Maybe. I don't know. Bronzer saved the day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider look at dirty thumb mascara. Um, consider subscribing and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.